because I find that about 50% of women in particular will not lose weight without some guidance when they first start keto or low carb. Fan yeah, it's so interesting. And I've definitely seen that in my work too. So yeah, why, why is that? What's your thoughts around that? Well, what, there are a few issues, but the main things that I normally find are, well, the number one thing is insulin resistance. And the second biggest thing is starvation stress. And we get that from years of dieting. And the reason this is more important for women as opposed to men is because men don't tend to diet. Whereas women have often spent the majority of their years dieting in some form. And even when they're not dieting, they probably have been low fat. And of course, when we are low fat, it's a form of dieting. So if you think about all the years we've deprived, deprived ourselves of nutrients and fat that we need, then <clears throat> we end up in this state of starvation stress where our thyroid can slow down. Our metabolism then, of course, slows down. And of course, the more we diet, the more that this happens and it becomes harder and harder to lose weight. And is it um, a case then of, um, you know, I, I just find that really fascinating because I think so much in the space is um, around this sort of one size fits all. And, you know, I see a lot of men, particularly recently, talking about, you know, oh, we have to reduce our fat and fat is this thing that, you know, people can, um, you know, consume too much of. And I suppose like anything it can be, but I, that get, makes me really uncomfortable because after personally myself spending 15, 20 years low fat, it was such a relief to learn that fat was actually okay for me. And now I'm kind of like, well, what am I getting it wrong again? Like what's going on there? <laughs> well, actually, this is something that really frustrates me within the low carbon keto communities because so many people get the advice, okay, I'm not losing, what should I do? They might post on a forum or something like that. And they get advice. Um, they almost always get advice from someone to cut their fat and cut their calories. And this is really frustrating for me because when you look at starvation stress in particular, when we have slowed our thyroid and our metabolism, this just makes this worse. The only way to really heal the thyroid and also boost that metabolism again is to eat because the problem has been this lack of calories, the, the deprivation, etc. That's what's caused the issue in the first place. So we need to actually eat to repair our metabolism. Sure, we can remain on the diet train forever and continue depriving and continue not getting enough nutrients and starve ourselves. That's what we've been taught to do. But do we really want to keep doing that? Or do we want to heal our bodies, take a little bit longer to get our bodies back to optimal and then never have to worry about weight loss or um, thinking about what we eat again? You know, 